Soulmate is pretty straightforward to understand because it's a soul connection. And when we refer to the soul, what are we referring to? It's an energetic connection that is beyond just the physical form. Even at times when we feel that we have not met this person in physical reality before, the moment you rekindle that soulmate, you reconnect, guess what? The connection happens instantly. If you understand it as we are infinite souls, right? The soul never dies, why? Because energy never dies, and we are energy, energy is everything. And so if that's the case, then we continue moving from lifetimes to lifetimes to lifetimes, we move through multiple, multiple lifetimes. And so if in a previous lifetime, two people were once together, how do we have a sign for that in this physical reality? It's very simple. Have you ever met somebody before and maybe you haven't met them for long. Maybe you haven't known them for long in this physical reality. Maybe it could be even the first time. But the moment you meet them, it just feels right. It's got nothing to do with looks. And that's what's the most beautiful thing about it. Because sometimes you can um, find somebody who maybe on the outer appearance, you, you look at them and you don't even find them most attractive. Yet at the same time, there's this undeniable energy, this connection that keeps pulling you together and it just feels like you've gone home. You've been there before. It's that familiarity on an unconscious level, on an infinite collective level. Deep down somewhere inside the soul, you have this warm feeling that it just feels right. And so at moments like that, sometimes people may think or overthink, or sometimes people may even think, oh, then what does this mean? Does this mean uh, they need to leave their current relationship uh, or if, if that is going on for that, for that to happen? Do they need to make this into some sort of romantic relationship? Actually, that's not the case because uh, soulmate is not indicating that it must be a romantic relationship. It can happen in many forms, right? It could even be your sister, it could be your brother, it could be, it could be uh, your, your, your teacher, it could be your student, it could be a friend, it could be anything. I mean, it could be, of course, the romantic relationship. And I think that a lot of the time, people get confused when that happens. It feels so close, maybe even sometimes feels like a brother-sister relationship, yet at the same time, because it feels so warming and feels so much at home, they mistaken it that it needs to be a romantic relationship. And that's why some people, they would kick off a romantic relationship just to realize that actually that's not what they want from each other. I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they feel that they must rekindle and reconnect with every single soulmate they meet on this planet, which in fact sometimes is not, is not the purpose, it's not the reasoning. You come together because on some sort of vibrational frequency alignment you aligned and so you attracted it back into another reality. But it doesn't mean that this person needs to be a part of your life in this physical reality. It may be that they come to teach you a lesson. It may be that they come for a transition period. Some may be here to stay forever. But actually, in our life, we will come across many, many, many soulmates. I can't find an ending to it. That would be fine. That's it.
yeah, there's no ending to it. I just realized there's no summary, there's no conclusion. What is the outcome? What is the outcome, Sahil? <laughs> Uh, cut this, by the way. Cut this, yeah, cut this part. <laughs> but if you find that one, that that one, then just get married and make some babies. It's time. <laughs> Keep all of these for the bloopers at the end. It'll be quite funny, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs>